A newly published book shares the stories of eight local boys who broke their necks while playing hockey or football in high school. It's called Unbreakable Resilience. Put together by Dr. Don Grossnickel, a retired school administrator, also an ordained deacon volunteering with the Archdiocese of Chicago. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. You've, you've written the story of these boys on the cusp of manhood whose lives were changed by one single tragic, awful event. Uh, it's not supposed to happen. Well, I've so, been a fortunate witness of their resilience uh, uh, comeback story, Steve. Tell us uh, what, what does happen with these accidents. And we're talking about high school football players and hockey players who have been uh, tackled the wrong way, hit the wrong way on the ice. What happens? Well, what happens accidents? in an instant is uh, things change. Their life uh, that they used to know it is uh, completely turned upside down. And uh, the first thing, of course, is that they have to find a, a medical way to recover and then the spiritual way to find a way to deal with it. And then the rest of it is a kind of an uphill uh, battle uh, to try to find the strength, the spiritual strength, to uh, mount a comeback story. In a general sense, what did you learn about these young men that surprised you the most? Their spirit, really. Mm -hmm. The uh, stories are well known here in Chicago of uh, each of the guys that are portrayed in the, in the book. And uh, the book goes deeper, however, into the, the spirit that they portray the unbreakable resilience uh, built on, on uh, attitude, uh, teamwork, and resourcefulness. I call them entrepreneurs. Because we are talking about boys paralyzed for life. In fact, I'm going to borrow a phrase from your book, a fate worse than death. Is it? Well, the media, uh, Steve, called it uh, fate worse than death. They will tell you that uh, they have to deal with uh, what, what they have been given. And I think that's the miracle story that people should read about in this, in this great book. The boys have shared, um, no, it's not a fate worse than death for them. It's their fate, and they have something to prove. Tell me one or two of their stories. Well, I suppose uh, it's, it's hard to isolate one or two. Um, I guess my, my work with Rob Camosa uh, really has a lot to do with how the community rallies. Metro Chicago rallied, I think, for all the boys, and Metro Chicago knows them. Uh, so how the miracle of thousands and thousands of people that come to the aid of these kids, you know, when they're financially broken and they're spiritually broken, yeah. is, is a miracle. So that's Rob's story. I think I want to tell about uh, Ken Jennings' story. Ken Jennings, uh, you know, was at Simeon High School. Uh, he says to be black and poor and paralyzed is just about a death sentence. So getting out of bed every day for him is a big challenge yeah. that somebody else will have to do for him. And one other profile in Courage in this book is the story of Rocky Clark, a young high school football player paralyzed. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we lost Rocky uh, earlier this year. Tell me a little bit about him. Well, Rocky is a, a very bittersweet story. Rocky's attitude is well known. Thousands and thousands of people in Chicago admire he and his, and his mother, Annette. Uh, the book talks about uh, Rocky's resilience. Um, Rocky really had, had a rough road, and particularly at the end when his insurance ran out. Yeah, that was particularly difficult, wasn't it? Very, very difficult, and uh, that's what the Gridiron Alliance mm -hmm. is trying to do with the sale of this book, is to change things. Uh, high school football players are not insured in this, in this state by the school districts for the most part, or the IHSA, and that needs to change. You bet it does. Uh, you, before we go, you, you've gleaned a number of life, life lessons from, from all of these men's all these men, these lessons can apply to all of us. Absolutely. This, this book is inspirational. It tells the profiles of uh, how they came back and how a teamwork and how an uh, unbreakable spirit really can, can change, uh, change their life for the better. Just in a few seconds, is enough being done to prevent these injuries on the field, on the ice? Well, that's the work of the Great Iron Alliance. We think there's more to be done, Steve, that uh, more in prevention, more in sports safety, and school boards uh, and uh, the IHSA really needs to change, and, and schools around the country really need to provide catastrophic insurance. It's not very expensive, about $1.75 uh, per student. That's what Rocky had, uh, you know, helped him for $5 million uh, you know, that lasted 10 years. And so that's our model. We need to change. And dollar seventy-five is not a lot of money. Thank you for, so much for sharing these uh, these inspirational stories. For more information on the book, uh, visit Gridiron Alliance. Once again, the book is Unbreakable Resilience. If you missed anything, you can watch this segment again by logging on to wgntv.com/midday.